American ranching, consist of a mansion with illegal immigrants. Uh, my name is Rudy Arredondo. I'm the president and the founder of the National Latino Farmers and Ranchers Trade Association, uh, which I founded in 2005. And uh, we're here, headquarters, here in Washington, D.C. Oh, native land With a ragged sombrero And not much dinero We'll be back again With that old Rio Grande well, I was a migrant farm worker. I started working in the fields with my mother when I was about five years old. And, you know, I got bored from being under the truck, so I started, you know, helping my mom with little tasks. And then it became a full-time job. <laughs> when I was uh, in Texas, my grandmother was undocumented. The Border Patrol came to the house. They took my grandmother and they left my two siblings toddlers, unattended, was my grandmother, you know. She couldn't write and she couldn't read. She didn't know where, what to do. To me, that was really traumatic because we lost our, you know, our grandmother, you know, that, that's very significant. I didn't get into, quote, organizing until such time as uh, I met organizers in Texas, in South Texas, where I grew up. And then I later met Cesar Chavez, Dolores Huerta, who was one of my mentors. I'm transitory. And the folks that I'm attempting to work with in terms of an organizing effort they have to live in those communities. There could be repercussions. And this, I mean, my, my own father told me that. He said, it's important that you realize that what you're doing is a good deal, but you have to make sure that because this is, they, this uh, folks, that's, that's their livelihood. And you could have a negative impact on their ability to feed their families. Is this the good neighbor that takes her our labor, then calls us back over? The media pretty much ignores rural communities. Viva mi Mexico, look where they let you go. Uh, you know, I'm the founder of the National Latino Farmers and Ranchers Trade Association. Take con dinero and buy me some bread. Farm workers are afraid to go to the field. Viva mi Mexico, look where they let you go. Look what you can for that land. We are indigenous and we revere the land. To us it's sacred. And we need to make sure that we don't uh, exploit it. I mean, it feeds us. We need to do something. Hey,